Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And today we're going to talk about what's popping off in Venezuela. It turns out that when you allow the socialist government full power, they confiscate your firearms and then they steal elections, they'll just start shooting you in the streets when you're upset about it. I'm about to show you everything that is a really stark reminder of why we have the Second Amendment, why we fight every single day to maintain that Second Amendment, why an armed populace through the Second Amendment preserves freedom. Send this one out. Everything I have is linked in the description box below. Of course, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. Guys, this is, this is of utmost importance. Before we dive into it, let me tell you a quick word from our sponsor, American Hartford Gold, and then we're going to walk through this entire thing. The content today is brought to you by American Hartford Gold. And brothers and sisters, with everything popping off around the world, war is cracking off. We've got inflation issues. We've got stock market volatility. We have cash concerns. We have oil concerns. It's a good time to take a look at at least know your options with American Hartford Gold. They are dedicated to offering gold, silver, platinum, coins, and bars for your investing needs. Whether you want to do it delivered to your door or you want an IRA, Roth IRA, 401k, TSP, they've got options. This is something you guys should check out. At American Hartford Gold, they aim to educate clients about investments in the precious metal industry, strive to provide unparalleled customer service built on trust, integrity, and absolute transparency, while holding a goal of achieving 100% customer satisfaction. Click the link in the description or call 844-727-3199. That's 844-727-3199 or text Langley to 65532. Again, that's 844-727-3199 or text Langley to 65532. All right, so first off, most importantly, of course, I made you guys some very appropriate new art right down there for some propaganda. I think it's rather apropos for what we're about to talk about. But speaking of commies, let me show you what they did and how long it took before they took the guns in a socialist government, then they took the guns, and then how long it took to start the government killing their citizens. Which brings us to today, where they're protesting the stolen election, which, again, is culminating in violence against the citizens. Check this out. Venezuelan timeline. I'm just going to go right to the part where they, in 2001, voted for the socialist president for income inequality. That Remember that? equity, right? Then in 2009, so eight years later, socialists banned private ownership of guns. Okay, that's 2009. 2019, unarmed citizens massacred by their own government. And now 2024, which is proving to be a hell of a drug, they are now stealing elections and they are shooting protesters who would dare, who would dare stand up to the socialist dictator Maduro who stole the election. All right, even the United States government says they stole the election, except Kamala Harris, who said the will of the Venezuelan people should be respected. It's an actual tweet. We'll show you in time. But now, let me just keep on going here. Let me show you what we, we showed you where it was. Now, let me show you what they're doing in response. So this is the first one. This is what the Venezuelan people are doing, completely unarmed and disarmed by their government. This is what they started to do. So as you can see, there is full-on unrest in Venezuela. You've got multiple individuals that are going all throughout the entire city. There are crowds across this entire country that are popping off. And you are literally looking at mass demonstrations against a socialist government, which stole the vote of the people. Okay. This is what they're doing now. I'm about to show you what the reaction is from the socialist government. So once this finishes playing out, a couple more seconds. All right. So I got that one. Now let me show you what the government's doing, what the response is. Again, keep in mind, this is in a city, in a country, that was completely deprived of their gun rights by a socialist government who dictated they cannot have private ownership of guns. So this is what they're doing now in response to that. This is the government of Venezuela underneath Maduro. All right? All right, I'm going to pause it for a quick second. Something that I want you to notice is there was an entire police line, all of them uniform. They were holding back the protesters who were pissed that their rights were just stolen from them yet again. But then the shooting starts. 
And I want to show you who is doing the shooting because it's not the police officers in uniform. Check this out as this zooms in. This is a key point of making a commie cry. Hence the artwork. Show the video. Vale, pozo, mira, me pozo, me sigue me pozando, que te vive yo. Sigue me pozando, anda. Dale, pozo, mi, dispárame para acá, ven. So the reason that I wanted to have that part in there is because those are not civilians and those are not military in military uniform. Those are the secret not, or, uh, Stasi service of the socialist dictator Maduro. Those are individuals dressed in civilian clothing, having guns in a nation that is completely disarmed and should not be allowed to have guns because there's full gun control. But yet these guys all have pistols that are concealed walking on the streets shooting at protesters. This is what these socialist governments do. If there's never been a reason why you have a Second Amendment in your nation, this is why. Because the second that you take the guns, the uh, non-uniformed, very well-fed, very well-armed people who are just civilians, they're not military, they're just brown shirts dressed in military guard that are shooting at protesters. When you give a socialist government like this all the power and all the enterprises in the entire country, are you really surprised when they start stealing elections and they have all the power and what are you going to do? Because they have guns shooting at protesters. Now, that's what they started doing shortly after. Now, I'm going to bring you into the next clip because this next one has a lot more of the dire circumstances of this. And I've got to blur a lot of this out because there's actual things I cannot show you on YouTube. All right. But this is what's happening after this popped off immediately. OK, so let me get the right clip here. Here we go. Aquí podemos observar un accidente que acaba de haber en la, en la autopista de la, a la altura de la salida de las Mercedes. Podemos ver cómo hay dos personas fallecidas que impactaron con dos carros y lamentablemente perdieron la vida. Las personas, presuntamente, lo que dice el testigo que están en la zona. So that is literally just walking down or driving down the street of Venezuela or the highway of Venezuela. And here's where I want to land this plan. I'm just showing you what's going on. I'm getting a lot more of these clips. And I'm going to do a lot more stuff later on today about this. But the government of Venezuela was given complete power but to the socialists in 2001. By 2024, 23 years later, that is a lifespan, a very early amount of lifespan of most of our population. They had not only taken the guns, they had also started shooting individuals and and protesters and civilians. And now in 2024, they steal elections and they're shooting protesters who are pissed about that. Venezuela is learning that you vote yourself into socialist, socialism and you have to shoot your way out of it. It's not something that I condone. I don't want violence of any kind. But this is what you're talking about when you give a, compl a government complete control and tyranny over you. And the Venezuelans are on the bottom end of this, on, on the bad end of this. That's bottom line. But that's what I've got for you. That's what's happening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tune in. We're going to have lots of this stuff, also including the uh, very obvious correlations of some other things that have happened in the last two years. And I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.